Hello, my Leo couple. So this is going to be your reading for March 18th through the uh, 31st. So um, hello, you guys. I am psychic medium. So I receive messages from spirit as I shuffle. So I will give you intuitive guidance as we go. But also I will give you the interpretation of what the cards are saying this month. So um, as I shuffled, what I felt intuitively is that a lot of you guys in your relationship, you're feeling as if there's an imbalance in give and take, right? So I, I feel like with the cards that came out, this is a very internal feeling. Like you're not really communicating with your partner how you're feeling. Um, I feel that you're kind of, for the sake of keeping your relationship pristine, you're internalizing your dissatisfaction. You're internalizing how you feel about your relationship. But in turn, I feel that inside you're going through this internal battle of not really knowing if you're sure about your relationship or your marriage or you're feeling kind of like you want to kind of come out of it. Like you just don't know how to... You're, I just feel like there's just a lot of ifs, ands, or buts. Like there's a lot of doubt for some of my Leos, not all. My other Leos, I think that um, you guys are having a hard time deciding on your career and your relationship because I kept having this vision of heads bumping. Like, and also a work-related environment. So I feel that Perhaps some of you guys are having trouble because you might travel for work and your partner feels like you're never there. Um, I feel that you're so immersed in your own projects, Leo, that maybe your partner is resenting the fact that you're not spending enough time with them. Or you can just be in a place where you're trying to expand your business or expand yourself career-wise. And I see that your partner may or may not be as supportive as you want them to be. I also see travel being a situation, um, distance. So I see a lot of you guys having this issue of spending quality time together due to one person being far away. I feel this can also create a lot of tension in your relationship. So that's the overall energies this month at the end of the month, the 18th through the 31st. So patience, Leo. Um, address what you need to address, okay? We don't want to block the throat chakra. You want to speak your truth, okay? So the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So you're going to receive messages this month at the end of the month. Incoming messages, fast um, communication. Um, I feel like this is this could be an announcement of a pregnancy, an announcement of a new job opportunity with your partner, or this is going to be an announcement. I keep hearing um, you've been waiting for something to happen career-wise, and you're waiting you're waiting, 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 and you're going to hear news. And this is going to kind of cause that situation where it's like, okay, what are we going to do from here? How are we going to keep our relationship going with all the external activity kind of happening, right? So um, you can also be taking your relationship to the next level. There's going to be communication of maybe um, marriage, a proposal, but there's going to be a lot of activity, a lot of mental activity at the end of the month with your partner, a lot of communication with what it is that you want, where you're going, which is great because we don't want to block the throat chakra. We want to keep that flowing smoothly. You want to be, you know, honest and speak your truth, okay? The central theme here is the Eight of Swords. All right, and then this popped out, the sun in reverse. Okay, you guys, seriously, again, internalizing, right? A lot of these issues are happening inside you. I don't think your partner even knows what's happening. Like, you're not communicating what it is that, that you feel. This energy, Eight of Swords, it's about you're, you're blocking yourself from freedom. You yourself are keeping, you're keeping yourself in the situation for the sake of something. This is such... Um, an energy that reminds me of the hangman energy, but it's different because this is a self-imposed restriction. This is about insecurities. This is about you're relinquishing your power. You're releasing your power. You're not um, reclaiming your power. You're just kind of like you're in it to be in it, right? For some of my Leos or some of you are cycling through patterns of insecurity where you're not feeling confident in yourself and you feel like maybe you and your partner are having issues about jealousy. Um, but again, this is about 
kind of feeling really depressed. You're not seeing things for what they are. It's a, it's like what I keep hearing is you're letting um, your mind get the best of you. Your mind is playing tricks on you and it's affecting your relationship, okay? So as far as the sun in reverse, that goes hand in hand. You're feeling a little depressed. You're not feeling confident about your partner and your relationship. You're feeling like, I don't know if we're going to make it. You might be doubting the longevity of your relationship because because you're blinding yourself to the situation and instead of acting you're allowing yourself to be in this prison right so uh, you're, you're kind of going to explore all these feelings at the end of the month you guys and even though i do feel that you guys are going through the shift i do see that a lot of you will either come out of it you're going to move out of this situation for the best like just just in order to move forward. If you're really unhappy, Leo, don't stay in it, you know? Kind of, you know, focus on what it is that you're unhappy about and then address it. And if you feel like you've reached a point where you can no longer take it, don't be afraid to move on, okay? Um, easier said than done, I get it. But take the necessary steps. And the cards here are saying that I think you guys are gonna take the steps forward. Okay. So energy's in your favor. Wow, just what I intuitively said, right? The death card, the end, right? Like maybe you're just frustrated, you've had enough, you're leaving it behind, your relationship, you're done. But this is definitely an ending. It could be an ending to your fighting. Maybe you guys are gonna come to an agreement at the end of the month and you're gonna understand each other a little bit more. The end of a cycle, the end of you're releasing your partner, you no longer want to deal with their shit anymore. <laughs> or you yourself, you're just done, right? This is this is a card of being done. But the good part about the death card is that you're done, but you're going to you know, you're going to add a new transition. So there's something new to that, okay? The energy is working against you. There's a lot of gossip around you, you guys. Make sure that you know, you're not just attacking your partner and accusing them because you heard so-and-so say that they're cheating or you heard so-and-so say this. Um, this can be an air sign that's spreading gossip, uh, an Aquarius. I feel this is such an Aquarius energy, not accusing them. I'm just saying this is what, you know, the card represents Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, they could be just kind of spewing a lot of negative 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 gossip that isn't true about your partner and it could have you thinking it can make you feel a little bit like what the hell um or you you know you're just listening to other people instead of going within so i recommend you guys really listening to your intuition if it doesn't feel right it's probably not right but don't don't jump the gun and accuse just to accuse, you know? But either way, I do see that you guys will find a solution, okay? So the final outcome of your relationship at the end of the month is the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Leo, you just want your partner to help with the burden. Whatever burden you guys are carrying together with external stuff like work, kids, family life, school, whatever it is, you are saying, all I want from you is to please give me a balance. I need balance. Leo is screaming, I need balance, okay? You're telling your partner, look, I need a give and take here. You can't just have me carrying this load by myself because that's not a relationship. This is what you're saying you want. Communicate that at the end of the month, okay, for some of my Leos. My other Leos, you guys are just carrying a heavy burden right now and your partner is helping you balance okay so that's the outcome that they're going to get it together and they're going to realize that maybe they've been slacking maybe not and they're going to get it together and help you carry this burden okay but either way there is a solution so don't worry about it too much this month um i do see you guys making a decision by the 31st okay thanks you guys